I've got an M1 MacBook Air, and here I've got an M4 MacBook Air. This is quite a bit larger. What we're going to do is we're going to get rid of this one, so we're going to reset this machine. So let's move this out of the way. Let's bring this right here and pop that open. And it's already coming up. So the first thing we need to do is to shut this down. And so we'll go back up to the top, the power button up there. You can see it's got restart there. So let's go over there and say shut down. And that shuts the machine down. Let's zoom back out. Now that it's completely shut down, we're going to hold the power button for seven to 10 seconds till a specific menu comes up. Here we are. Press that power button here, which is also the touch button. And as you hold it, it comes up. We're gonna continue holding for startup options is what it says here. So we'll keep holding that button. And now this screen pops up. Let's zoom in a little bit on that. And we can see we've got the Macintosh HD here, options here, shut down and restart. Let's select options. So we come to this screen, which then shows the accounts that we have. We blurred those out. We're going to go up here to the recovery assistant and click that. Let's zoom in and see if we can see that a little better. And what it says is about recovery assistant, change language and erase the Mac. We're going to erase this Mac. Click. And it says if you're unable to unlock this Mac, you can fully erase it and reinstall. This will delete everything. So let's erase the Mac. This option here is erase the Mac. Are you sure you want to erase this Mac? All media, etc., will be permanently deleted. Yes, I do. Erase this Mac. Let's zoom out a little so you can see more of the screen. screen went blank and it popped back up and here we are in that startup mode where you would be if you had received this machine straight out of the factory let's wait and see what happens and there we are the option to activate this Mac select a Wi-Fi network from the menu or attach a network cable etc so let me click here and see a startup disk, restart and shut down. So at this point, we shut down and that machine has been reset. I hope that helps. Thank you so much for watching.